Hello everyone, welcome. We're going to uh, be changing a screen on an Acer Aspire 7551G-5755. Now, this screen uh, was frozen in minus 23 weather and it is no longer functional. So the first thing that we're going to do is uh, remove the battery from the back. Then I have this dental tool that I use to remove the little plastic covers that are in this location for the two screws on the front bezel. Now I have already removed those two screws and then removing the bezel itself is quite easily done by putting your fingernails under and starting to pop off the clips all the way around in an upward fashion. A little bit of tape in the top center section. But it comes off quite easily. As you can see. There we go. So now, as you can see, the two-way tape. Now for removing the screen, there's a series of screws. Uh, two in each bottom corner. One in each top corner, which also uh, gives it its rigidity. Okay, and then once those screws are removed, there is some wiring on the back that is easily removed also. I'm just going to loosen the main hinge one, but I will remove the outside cover one. Now you can see that the top wants to separate from the screen. You can see that the, the ribbon cable for the webcam is taped to the back of the screen and is plugged in. And it's a fragile wire so you want to be careful that you don't pull it too far. You wanna, you're going to need to unplug this for the moment. So we'll go ahead and do that now. So now we have freedom from the back cover. Now I'm going to remove the lower main hinge screws.
once I have done that, we're going to lean this forward. And inspect the connections on the back. Turn this so you can see the back. It has two cables. Just going to prop this up. Okay, now we must carefully release this cable down and we must do the same with this lower ribbon cable which makes your connection to the back of your screen it's just a bit of sticky two-sided tape on the back and now that you're at this point this must be removed by pulling straight out They don't all have this, but there's an extra piece of tape on the upper portion of that ribbon cable that we must start to lift and then peel it back and it releases the cable. Okay, so there. Now we have the screen ready to be removed. In the ends of this screen, there's three screws on both ends that will release the screen from the hinges. These must be removed. I recommend leaving the top one in just loosely as you remove the rest. Same on the opposite side. Okay, so I just remove the final top screws now. It looks fragile, but it really isn't as fragile as it seems. It is definitely a little bit stronger than it appears to be. So, with that screen removed, we will prepare our new screen to be installed. well packaged from Screen Country which I have found to be one of the best suppliers in Canada of screens for replacement and all kinds of laptops and devices they have very fast shipping staff is very knowledgeable and the website is very very Easy. Okay, we have our new screen. I've done comparisons to make sure that it is the correct one. Um, what we are about to do is reinstall it back in our Acer Aspire. I've left the protective cover on. I've peeled the tape back at the 
at the front here just so it's easily to remove after we reinstall. Now I'm going to start by putting the mounting screws back in the hinges starting with the very top screw that goes in. screwdriver is ever so slightly magnetized and it helps to hold the screw for you in place. You can start it in the hole and hold a little bit of pressure on it. It's normally easier. A little shaky today for some reason. There we go. That top screw is started. We'll do the same on the opposite side. If you're right-handed, you should always try and use that hand for starting screws. <laughs> As they can be hard to install because of their size. Okay, so we've started screws in the top and bottom of the hinges. You'll snug those up. And then we will install the two remaining screws. Okay, so now the hinges are firmly mounted and uh, the next step is to replace our cables back into their position and this make certain that the adhesion uh, tape is reapplied in the same areas as it was before. Now installing the cable you need to line up your pins as they were before, directly in the bottom of the socket. And then with the assistance of this tape that was used to hold it in place, 
you can pull straight up into the socket and then just reattach it. Be very careful with this circuit board in the back that you do not put any unnecessary pressure on it at all. It's not It's not good to apply pressure to that. Now we're going to reinstall the lid. Our screen is connected. We're going to stand it up. We're going to remove our protective cover. We will start by getting it close to the position it needs to be. There are guide pins in the bottom. But we need to reconnect our camera in the top. And this is again is a very small connection that is fragile and you need to take great care when reconnecting it. So, you get your alignment. I like to use this little tool just to make sure that the ends are firmly in place. Having done that, we can continue with reattaching our bezel, our back cover, and our bezel. So, I must. Start with the main hinge screw in the bottom. On both sides. Okay. And we will install our upper fasten screws to the corners of the hinges. And we'll now install the outside corner screws. Structurally sound. Now we will replace the, the bezel. Just want to confirm that our wires are in their proper place. We'll slide the bezel hinge section down into its place first, and then we're just going to work our way around the outside reattaching the bezel with its clips. You can hear them as they reconnect. Not a lot of pressure. Just a little pressure will reconnect all of the bezel screws. When you do the bottom Put your hand on the back to support. The screen and make sure that they're all uniformly connected all the way around. And that is basically it. We reinstall our lower bezel.